I'm Bo Uriona for Resources Conservation Service. We manage the snow tell sites, which are meteorological stations in mountainous regions that are used to forecast stream flow. We maintain over 200 data collection sites in Utah. I, I've, I've been uh, a skier since I was a little kid, and I've always been into boating as well. Uh, I definitely say that my career uh, path was more determined by my hobbies than vice versa. The real beauty of snow is that you get to ski on it all winter and then come springtime when it's going away you get to ride it down the river as well. Right now we're at Brighton Snowtel which is at the very top of uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon. This station collects several different uh, meteorologic uh, parameters. We collect precipitation uh, accumulation throughout the year. We also collect snow depth and snow water equivalent which is basically the amount of water within the snowpack. Here at the Snow Survey, we collect data for our needs. We want to know how much of the snow is going to turn into water and end up in the streams. But for recreational uses, you can still use our data. What you need to do is take the amount of snow water equivalent that fell in the last storm and divide it by the change in density. That way you'll be able to get a pretty good estimate of the density of the snow at that particular storm. It might not look like much now, but underneath this snow right here, is really the heart of the Snowtail Station. We have a pillow, which is really just a, like a waterbed, full of uh, antifreeze solution that takes the pressure that the snow exerts on it and we have it plumbed down to our, to our shelter where we can measure the pressure of the liquid within that pillow. So now that we have the snow water equivalent from the pillow, we might want to know the snow depth so we can figure out the density. Directly above the pillow, we have installed a snow depth sensor, which uses an ultrasonic frequency that bounces off the surface of the snow, and then the amount of time that takes to get back, we can determine the depth of the snow. 